Man, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tyrone Hunter the Head Hunter back in the building one more again. Um, coming at you, breaking news. Um, this story has been verified. YFN Lucci, um, straight out the ATL, is about to be released. Um, this story, you know, just broke um, recently. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to read y'all the newspaper article, the verified information. Make sure you like, comment, and share, and stay to the end of the video, right? So, in this article, which says, exclusive details, YFN Lucci gets all murder charges dropped, still facing prison time and plea deal. This is news, right? This is news. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm reading an official newspaper article. All right, but anyway, it said, YFN and Lucci is suddenly in the clear for the felony murder case he's been facing for nearly three years. And while he will be going to prison, his attorney believes it won't be for long. On Tuesday morning, which is today, prosecutors dropped 12 of the 13 counts the rapper had been facing included felony murder for the death of James Adams, who was killed during the shootout with a rival Atlanta gang back in December 2020. Cops didn't suspect Lucci of pulling the trigger, but he was the driver of one of the vehicles involved in the shootout, and he eventually surrendered to cops in January 2021. Lucci, whose real name is Rashawn Bennett, pleaded guilty to one count of violating the Street Gang Terrorism and Prevention Act and will have to do time for that as part of the plea deal. He was hit with a 10-year sentence plus 10 years probation. He is getting credit for time served. Lucci been jail awaiting his trial since the spring of 2021 when he violated his release on bond by going to a strip club. However, his attorney, Drew Finans, believe his client will only be locked up for a few months. He tells TMZ as he maintained for three years now, Mr. Bennett will not cooperate in any other case. By entering into this resolution, he will be eligible for parole in as early as four months from now. The prosecution has also agreed that he should be released early on parole, and this will allow him to get back to his children, family, and career. Okay, so from what we read so far... YFN Lucci agreed to a plea deal, which is a 10-year plea deal, okay, um, for one of the counts in the indictment. So he had 13 counts that he was facing under the RICO charges. And out of them 13 counts, the district attorney dropped 12 of the counts, and he pleaded guilty to one count, which resulted in a 10-year prison sentence as well as 10 years probation. So what it's saying so far is basically... He's going to be um, eligible for parole after four years. Now, he's already been in prison almost three years. So this is why his lawyer is saying he only got a couple of months to serve um, before he's going to be released back to the streets. But let me finish. Um, so it says... He's eligible for parole after 40 months. And since he's been locked up for about 36 months, that's the time he served, he's predicting Lucci's release in as little as four months, as long as he keep his nose clean. Lucci case was about to go to trial. Jury selection had begun a couple of weeks ago, but now he's gotten a pretty huge break in the 11th hour. Man, let's give a round of applause. You know, because finally we got a dude from the streets that's keeping it solid. You get what I'm saying? Standing on what he's standing on. Um, and, you know, so this is my opinion on on that. Right. First and foremost, um, it was crazy why they locked Lucci up for what they locked him up for. Um, just to give you a little background on that story. So he was in a car with some people um, and they drove to a rival gang neighborhood uh, some shots was exchanged. Uh, the person that was in the car with him was shot by um, individuals that was, you know, um, outside of the car. And it was alleged that Lucci or one of his friends pushed the guy out of the car who was shot in the head. And the guy died right there at the scene. 
And then they brought uh, RICO charges against YFN Lucci. He got out on probation, but he violated the terms of probation, and that's why he went back to jail. Uh, since being incarcerated, it was alleged that he was stabbed um, in an altercation with somebody from uh, the YSL camp, who's, you know, allegedly a gang that he was supposed to be feuding with. Um, you know, YFN Lucci stood tall on that. He pretty much never spoke about it. Um, they was trying to get him to testify in Young Thug's YSL Rico case. Um, he dubbed that. So now you have the confirmation from his lawyer that he's not going to be cooperating in no cases, um, that his plea is based on, you know, his charges. So before people start, you know, with the rumors that he's cooperating, he's not. Um, he had, you know, 13 or 13 counts in his indictment, 12 got dropped. He pleaded guilty to one, uh, which gives him 10 year, uh, give him a 10 year sentence in which he's eligible for parole after four years. So because he have 36 months in already, then in another four months, he should be released. So he's going to go to prison for four months. And if he keep his nose clean, he's going to be released to the streets. So another round of applause uh, for YFN Lucci, you know, for getting around them charges. Um, you know, much respect to YFN Lucci. Um, he stays solid, you know. Um, and one thing about the YFN crew, it was quite a few of them that had got locked up under the RICO charges, the RICO indictment. And nobody snitched in that case. Nobody folded in that case. Nobody gave up any information in that case. Nobody turned on each other in that case. This thing has just been quiet. They just, you know, um, they pretty much held it down. Um, you know, took their licks. They know what they signed up for in terms of what come with the streets. And, you know, they was willing to do their time, whatever it was. As you can see, Lucci was about to go to trial. And those charges got dropped um, prior to him going to trial. And the reason why the charges got dropped is because, again, he didn't murder anybody. If he's the driver in the vehicle, somebody got shot. Um, and it's alleged that he pushed the person out of the car. You know, how can you charge him with murder? You know, and then the whole uh, Rico case and the conspiracy came behind that particular case. You know, so he was able to get around them charges. Um, you know, he has a couple of months to serve. Uh, then he'll be eligible for parole, which means he'll be eligible for release from prison. Um, and then he'll serve out the rest of his time on probation. You know, so, uh, yeah, it seems like YF and Lucci will be home by the summer. Um, you know, he stood on what he stood on. He stood tall. And, you know, so we will see what happened um, when he gets out. And, and I find it a little funny. His lawyer made it a point to say, uh, no, he's not cooperating, you know, because, of course, the whole world was going to want to know why YF and Lucci was getting out of jail so quick. So his lawyer made sure that he, you know, put all of the information out there so it won't be no guessing. Um, and, yeah, that's what it is. Um, that's what's really good. Again, if you want to, uh, look up this information, all you got to do is Google, um, you know, latest news on YF and Lucci, um, and it should come up for you. Um, and it's right now, there's a few articles and this information was posted as of eight o'clock this morning. So dead as you have it, um, yeah, dead as you have it. You feel what I'm saying? Um, it's your boy Tyrone Hunter, the head hunter. And, you know, that's the word on the street. That's the news that's out there. I'm just giving it to you. It's up to you to decide what you want to believe. Because at the end of the day, we all just trying to find out what's really good. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you like the content. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you lock in. If you subscribe to the channel, I appreciate you rocking for me. Rocking with me. You know how we do. Um... Who's really good? Yeah, out of here.